And this is why I said she'll get a big head. I can imagine her now, sitting in a big chair, waking, wearing big glasses, and using a clipboard while staring down at the applicants. Hold on, taking another bite. I would say this is like I'm on a date with four girls, but one of them's a man, one of them's 13, one of them's 17, and one of them is Sylvia. Do you want to die? Haha, <laughs> Maria, save me! Ha ha ha, what the story, Mark? I am not gonna chase you. Sylvia sticks her tongue out, uh, to taunt her sister, which seems to work. It doesn't take much effort to get under Erica's skin. It's difficult to grab this food. Sylvia! I wanna play too. Don't leave me out, guys. So much running. It's making me feel tired. She probably shouldn't be acting this way on her first day as student council president this year, but it's rare to see Erica like this. Those two are definitely siblings. They love each other, but can infuriate each other in a heartbeat. Do you have any siblings, Maria? I... I have one. Are you like Sylvia and Erica? No, we're not. We don't get very along very well after an event happened. Even before, we were never close. What kind of event? I'd rather not talk about it. I can't possibly say it's the day that I first tried on girl clothes. Yeah. All right. We won't press. You're entitled to your own privacy. Thank you. Lunch is over. Time to sleep. Early. But I didn't sleep in the class that I missed the last time I had it. You're doing your homework at least, right? I haven't missed a day of dodging it. <laughs> I'm doing it. I guess it's fine. Don't sleep in class too often, though. Alright. Come on, Blanket. Not reading that one. Nah. Mm. I'm now finally used to the school, so I can find myself around it. No problem. Mm. It took several days of repeatedly walking around the school, though. Maybe I should see how Dawn is doing. I believe she has tennis practice today. I don't care about Dawn. Damn it. I arrived at the tennis to see Dawn engaged in a match with another girl. The other girl looks exhausted, even though she's taller and has longer legs. Dawn is faster and has much more stamina. Huh? Maria, you came to watch me? The ball! Down! The ba Dawn, the ball! Pikachu the horn! <laughs> the tennis boss heading straight for her face. I can't watch! Yeah! Yeah, it's so difficult to read, drink, and eat. She didn't get hit? How fast is the reaction time if she could return the ball after it got that close? That's game! She suddenly turns into Jaden Yuki. You're too much, Don. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Here, drink some water. Uh, better? Yeah, thanks. Good. Take it easy for a few minutes. I'm gonna go to class to my babe. Bye, babe. So I'm an angel now. To me, you are. A beautiful, gorgeous angel. You're 13! I roll my eyes at dawn being dawn. Even when you do that, you're perfect. I was the complete opposite of people in my life. I've had insults and rude names slung at me for the years by people. Dawn instead gives me compliments and flattering names. She's helping me grow more confident in myself. Uh, I look over at Dawn and she's soaked in sweat. My heart beats, begins to beat faster. 
I try to stop myself, but I can't help looking at all the visible skin on her body, especially her legs. She's 13! And you're 17, Mario. When I look at her face, I see her mischievously... I see her smiling mischievously at me. You were checking me out, weren't you? No, you're wrong. I'm not dumb. I saw your eyes, your eyes move all over my body. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I tried to stop myself. Hey, I'm not mad at you. On the contrary, the fact that I could turn you on makes me feel proud. I should have known you wouldn't get mad at me for that. Like, Mario over here does look like a woman. Which is very, um, confusing. If you get my hints. Like, it's not that he was cross-dressed and now is a woman. He's a full-on man. I can't imagine getting mad at you. You had to do something really bad like kill a puppy. <laughs> I hope Mario doesn't kill a puppy. Aw, uh, now you put dead puppies in my mind. Whoops, my- she's smiling. She loves that she said dead puppy. Wanna go for a round to take your mind off of it? Try not to check me out. Okay, but go easy on me. I've only played tennis a few times. Don't let me win either, though. Could you go about it half your usual? Got it. You versus 50% Dawn. Well, you could say that Dawn is very radiant. No, I don't regret that. I lost. Badly. Sports aren't your thing, are they? I was... I was... I really was only going 50%. I could tell. You weren't moving nearly as fast as you were with that girl. Food. Like, I want to continue streaming, but I am hungry. <laughs> Versus the Dawn Brigade. Yep. See, it's too easy. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you need some water? Uh, that would be nice. Uh, you versus 50% Dawn Brigade. I gotta remember that, because I am recording this, so I'm gonna upload it to you, my YouTube. I gotta actually verbally say what I'm reading, so that people know the context. Uh, I've made such good friends in such short time I've been at the school. I hope we'll all be friends for a long time. We still have yet to get to the dating part of this dating sim. <laughs> She's going after Micaiah, she dies in one hit. <laughs> you right. Ah, thanks. Gulp. That was refreshing. I've gotta get back to practice. Mind if I continue to watch? Not at all. Watch to your heart's content. That was fun. Dawn sure was uh, impressive moving all over the court like that. Now, what should I do? I didn't get any homework done today, so I'm as free as a bird. Looks like I have a few texts. Where are you? Are you coming today? Did something happen? These are all from Harley, but it's not... It's Thursday! I completely forgot what it is. I agreed to take a nap with her. Brrr. I feel so bad. The last text I sent was an hour ago. She still wouldn't be waiting for me, would she? Knowing her, she probably is. I hope she isn't mad at me. I'm gonna see what she looks like when she's mad, and I prefer to keep it that way. Ooh, nap time! Ah, damn it. She's not mad. Mm. It completely slipped my mind. That's okay, better late than never. You know, Harley, if you could cross games and go into Fire Emblem, you would go great with Har. Har would love you. You didn't take a nap on your own? It's not the same without you. So I wanted to stay awake until you arrived. That's sweet, I think. Come, lie down on me, Maria. Okay. I do what I I do what she asks and lay it down on top of her. My face pressed right below her neck. It's a risky position considering I'm a boy, but I've gotten used to her body and she's no longer in her 
Aw, oh, damn it. I liked it when she was in her underwear. Hee <laughs> hee, your breath is so warm it tickles. I haven't saved in a while. What's Q? A Q? Okay. Yeah. Your breath is so warm and it tickles. You always say it's always true. Maria? Yes? You're a boy, aren't you? Well, what are you saying? She figured it out, but I'm not aroused, so I should be fine. How are you not? I mean, I mean, look at these. How are you not aroused? I know you're very feminine, but like, holy shit. I felt something poke me the first two times. <laughs> it didn't happen when we met, but I wasn't paying attention to her. You're more worried about escaping. I'm not sure. I don't really know how a boys thing works. I must have um, had my phone in my pocket. That must have been what you felt. <coughs> no. It felt different than your phone. It would disappear after a few minutes. <laughs> yes! My girl! Whenever you would just scratch up your face like you were trying to will it away. She's more observant than I thought. With all the proof she has, there's no way I can deny the truth. You're right. I am a boy. I knew it! Are you mad? Why? Or mad? Why would I be mad? Because I'm a boy. I don't understand. I had the fact that I'm a boy from you and a boy who's going to an all-girl school. So? What do you mean, so? You're not causing any trouble and you look like a girl. You look and act like a girl. So I understand why you should be concerned by going to an all-girl school. I mean, I'm not trying to act like a girl. I'm trying to pass for a girl with my looks, but my personality isn't manufactured. This is who I am. This has always been my personality. My dinner's gonna be so cold. I might as well give up and reheat it later. Then that's even better, isn't it? Besides, the idea, of, the idea of schools only for girls or only boys is stupid. I only came here because my parents said I didn't know how to act modest in front of guys. Yeah, you still don't. I still don't know what they mean by that. I know exactly what they meant. To her, being around people is the same as being by herself. She doesn't change her behavior at all. That's because she's hot. I mean, I wish you two would switch eye colors, but... Whatever. I imagine she must uh, have changed her clothes with guys in the room or something, which caused her parents to panic. That would be so hot. Maybe this is a similar situation. She doesn't care that I'm a boy because it makes no difference to her. Whether you're a boy or a girl doesn't matter to me. Well, there's your confirmation there, Mario. All that matters is that you're warm and cuddly. That's exactly it. She pretty much read my thoughts. That's such a simple and instant way of thinking about it, but it's so you. Thank you, Harley. For what? I didn't do anything. For being you. That's a strange thing to thank someone for. Mario, your hair is blocking her. Is she winking? Yeah, Harley is winking. That's weird. Maybe I should just keep this temporarily on. Okay, I can't be someone else, I can only be Harley. Haha, <laughs> what the funny story, Harley. I'm the silly one? After you said something like that? Yep, you're very silly, and I like that about you. I like you too. I haven't made any friends over the past five years? You got the all oh, way it's a girl school. Never mind. I mean, I'm pretty sure Dawn would love you. 
Dawn's kind of a lesbo. I haven't made many friends over the past... Oh, yeah. Everyone says that I'm too hard to understand or don't take anything seriously, and then they walk away. I don't really understand... I don't understand your thought process, and I doubt that I ever will, but... That doesn't matter to me. I can still enjoy spending time with you, even if I don't get you. <clears throat> I want to look at the art of those two being on top of each other. That was... That's exactly... Okay. So... Fucking Sylvia knows that Mario's a boy. Uh, Erica knows that Mario's a boy. The principal knows that Mario's a boy. And now Harley knows that Mario's a boy. It's only a matter of time before he reveals it to everyone. Ah, excuse me. I don't understand half the time, but I don't mind that. 